Fahrenheit TV. We're here with our next guest. This young woman is so talented. She has such a beautiful, soulful voice that when I came across a clip of her again on Instagram, thank God for Instagram because it's like so much inspiration I see it daily. Mm -hmm. I, exactly. Yeah. I saw a, a clip of her and she was she was singing and like the way she was singing was like, I don't know, I felt like I was in a whole different world. Like I, I just like was very calm. It made me feel calm, made me feel inspired. It made me feel like my soul was being healed somehow. And I don't even know the song. I just was, I don't know, I just loved it because she just has like, she's just herself and like the way she sung in that mic just like kind of give you her whole story if that makes sense. So anyways, we just want to welcome to the stage Josiah and I, our next guest, Isis Williams! Woo! Okay. Isis, thank you so much for being here tonight. I know it's the me. summertime and you know you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here on our stage and we're so excited to have you. So, you know, Josiah and I just wanted to ask you some questions about like, you know, what inspires you as an artist and kind of tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I was never really serious about singing until like I turned 12 mm -hmm. and I was in a choir at my old school. And something that inspires me to sing is like hearing other artists sing. because. Mm -hmm. Like the same way that you heard me sing and you like felt like, yeah, yeah. I that's the same way with other artists too. So mm -hmm. that's really what inspires me as other singers. That's awesome. So what, um, what other artists did you like look up to if you could give us some? I know there's a lot of great yeah. singers, but yeah, like give us some, some of your favorites. My favorites would be like her and Rihanna, Summer yes. Walker. Yes. And like, yeah, more artists like that, like very soulful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's awesome. I can definitely see her too, because like yeah. when you get on that mic, it's just like you're in your own world. It almost seems like everything else silences around you. And it's just like you and the mic. It's just that relationship. That's yeah. awesome. So um, you grew up here in Boston? Yeah. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about your family? I mean, when you said 12, I'm like, you're really young. You're like only 16? I'm 17. You're 17. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. Hey, 17, whatever. Yeah, you guys are yeah. about it. I mean, I'm excited to have the young, you know, blessed talent on our stage. That's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about, like, growing up in Boston, some of your favorite things to do? So, um, I live with my mom right now. My mom and my brother and my sister. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a big family. Yeah. So, it was like a lot of us in the house. Um, living in Boston, there's not really much to say. You know, I've always been very close to my family, like, in having, like, a few friends. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I'm not sure what else to say, but... No, 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 that's good that you're just telling us a little bit about yourself. So, you said you started taking um, singing more seriously when you were 12. What inspired you to take it more seriously? Um, I'm not really sure. I think I realized that my voice was, like, good. Because I never really <laughs> realized it before. Yeah. Um, so, you found that confidence. That's good you found yeah. it at such a young age. Because a lot of people, I mean, like, for me, I didn't find that until I was, like, in my 20s. I was just so, 20s? like, yeah, no uh, lie. Like, I was really shy. I, I lip sync all the time by myself. <laughs> but, like, in front of people, nah. I'm not a great singer at all like you. I'm just saying, like, in, ter in terms of, like, showing off my talent, I was really shy to do that until I reached my 20s. So, that's really inspiring that you, f you found that so early. Yeah, so like how did you how did you get into that? Like what made you want to take it seriously? Well, I'm with finding my confidence, I think I'm a very like per, I'm a person that's very sure of myself and I've always been like myself. Like mm -hmm. I'm not really like worried about what other people think. Mm -hmm. So, um I think that I think like in the past I thought like sing, singing was like what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It's not really what I want to do anymore. Oh but, yeah? Yeah. Well what do you want to, what do you want to do when you grow up? Well, well, when you graduate, yeah. <laughs> my dream job would be to be a model. Oh, um, yes, I see it, yes. You. you got that look for sure. And if not, then a child psychologist. Wow, that's dope. I love that you both have, like, you know, like an artist thing, and then you guys have, like, a, another thing that's helping out people. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Josiah, you have any questions yes, for it? So, yeah. um, what song was, like, your favorite one to, like, do, basically? Whew. There's a lot that mm -hmm. I like to sing. Um... I think my favorites would be some by something, what's it called? It's Session 32 by Summer Walker. Yeah, she's song. awesome. Yeah, like, she I is. mean, I really, like, and I know this is sad, I really didn't know about her until that, that Drake remix with yeah. her, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I went on Spotify and my life changed. I know. Wow, she's amazing. She really is. So that's like your favorite to like um, perform? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So what really like inspired you to do music? 
like I said before, hearing other artists, especially going to like an art school surrounded yeah. by other artists too, mm -hmm. you really get to see how other people are really creative and make up like their own stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what inspires me every day to. And you go to Boston art. Arts Academy. So yeah. funny thing is, I went to Fenway High back back in the day. We used to be connected together. We were called ha Hallway High because we only had one hall. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> it was great to just see like BAA students all the time. Is it like a little challenging going to school with so many like other talented people? Do you feel any pressure at all? Not really. I think everybody's like really connected and we're like a family at BIA. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of fun things to do. Um, like intercession, we have like a whole week where we don't have any academics and we just do like whatever we want and have fun. Why? And I think we all support each other in each in all of our arts. Like the everybody will go to like the theater major plays and go to the um, um, like sorry. the rehearsals and like recitals and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good that you guys are so supporting. It's not like you know like a like people are like competing with people all the time yeah. and everything. Yeah, you can see a lot of them. This world where everyone will just, everyone will just see each other as competition and not really want to like work together. Exactly, so. exactly. And Josiah was talking about earlier about the pressures of social media. Did you ever feel that yourself as an artist, as a young girl in this world? I feel like everybody kind of feels like pressure, like, oh, if I don't have enough likes, then mm -hmm. maybe I should just like delete this page. But on my, I have a singing page on, on Instagram, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really have like a lot of followers, but I'm still posting because that's what I want to do. Yes, that's awesome. And that's really, I'm glad that you said that, because as a creative, I think it's really important for you to continue to keep creating, even if you don't have that crowd that, you know, you need or you feel like society tells you you need, mm -hmm. it's great that you keep on creating. What, what would you say um, about that? Because even though, like, you don't have that much people, like, following you or whatever, there's always that, at least that one person that's getting at least something from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's, that's what's really, like, as a creator, that's really what it's all about. It's not really about like people following you. It's just like someone is getting something that you're putting out. Yeah. And it's actually impacting their lives. So. Exactly. Impacting my life. That's why I was like, I got to have her on the show. I got to have him on the show. That's awesome. I really love that you guys are just yourselves and you're putting your creativity out there. So I know you're going to hit our stage soon, yeah. right? And you're going to perform a nice acoustic version of a song. Can you tell us a little bit about like what inspired you for this performance? Because that's the clip that I saw from you, you know, at your recital. So how did you get ready for the recital? Why did you pick this? song, the artist. Oh, um, so for that song, I'm not sure. I think I picked it because I sounded like really good with it. But also I had to, what we do, we have to, for the singers, we have to sit and think about the meaning of songs before we sing it so we can really get into the piece. Mm -hmm. So I, um, the song that I sing was Mama Says. And the song is basically about like toxic relationships. Her mom was like in a toxic rela mm -hmm. relationship with a man. Mm -hmm. And like she was saying, basically during the song, she's saying that she can't live without him. And um, she's really like sad for her mother because she's suffering throughout the relationship. So I think I really like thought about it and got into it. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you ever think about like songwriting yourself? Or, like, yeah. I've tried. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard. Um, they weren't really good, but mm -hmm. um, I think I don't think I want to try anymore. With the songwriting. No. So do you typically go to like deeper songs because you're a soul singer? So like I, I normally like what I've seen you perform are deeper songs. But do you normally go for content that has more of a meaning than just like a, a beat? Because you know like anyone can make like a catchy song, but yeah. like it don't really mean nothing. It's just like yeah. you especially get stuck like ahead. mumble rappers and stuff like that. They could like literally be mumbling whatever and literally not be saying anything. Yeah, and you're just like uh, that. But you go into the beat, but you're like I don't know what I'm not learning anything <laughs> yeah. yeah I feel like people like really like listen to those types of songs even me mm -hmm. even if it doesn't have a meaning yeah. but I think stuff that I'm more attracted to is stuff that does have a deeper meaning mm -hmm. and I don't know why but I'm like really I feel really like connected to like sad slower songs mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, well, you know, it's interesting because you said you want to be like a child psychologist and stuff. So maybe, is that what you said earlier? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So maybe like you like those deep things because it's going to help you in the future. You know, when you're like modeling on the side over here and then you're going in your office and helping someone. So maybe they connect in some yeah. kind of weird way. Or maybe, you know, because you're a soulful singer and like you express yourself through like singing and arts and all that, that it just connects like for you to be like, all right, this song I feel like someone needs to hear even if it doesn't represent my life. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, so you're gonna perform that song. Yeah. Um, was it like hard at all? Like, you know, like, I don't know, cause I'm not a vocalist, but I feel like sometimes like some songs you'd be like, oh, should I like sound exactly like the artist or should I sound like myself? How do you dif differentiate, I mean, you know, like decide <laughs> how you wanna perform? Um, 
I think it just depends on how you, I don't really plan too much on it. I think I go up there and just sing it how I feel. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much how I do it. That's awesome. And Josiah, you have any other questions? Yeah. Yeah, if there's like, there's one girl right now, right? And she's afraid to like, just like, post anything vocally, or so she's just afraid just to be herself. Like, what's that message you could like, give to her or him? I would say if you really want to do it, then just do it. Because there's going to be like, throughout your entire life, there's going to be like a lot of people telling you not to do stuff because they don't think you're going to be good enough at it. But if you really like, feel like you really want to do it, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Dope. Mm. Dope. Yes. We could clap, we could snap in here because we felt that. That's awesome, that's awesome. You know, last two questions before you perform and show us, you know, how dope you are. Um, so what are your f favorite things to do in the summer? I know that was like a different shift from that deep question, but I wanted to still ask you before you get into your, you know, zone. Well, I like hanging out with my friends. I haven't really yet, but yeah. I like hanging out with my friends and shopping. And shopping? Yeah. That's awesome. And you both are both seniors, are going to be seniors, right? Yeah. Wow. SATs. Yeah. SATs. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I remember those days. You'll get oh, through God. it. You know, there's other things that'll come up. You, you'll get through it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Is yeah. there, like, any, like, social platforms that they could, like, follow you as? Or? Um, I have two Instagrams. I have weird.hippie. That's my main page. And then my other Instagram for my singing is icythe.singer. That's awesome. And uh, do you have any like upcoming like music or any coming up that we could you know look forward to, or are you just gonna surprise us on Instagram? Um, not during the summer. I'll probably post something. Okay, word. Well, Isis, thank you so much for coming on the stage thank and you. speaking to Josiah and I about your nice to meet you. yeah about your artistry and all the dope things that you're doing. We can't wait to hear you. So guys, after this break, we're going to hear the wonderful Isis Williams sing to us. And we have some more exciting things coming up for you with our amazing dope dancers live on Fahrenheit TV. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> The man is gone And mama says She can't live without him The man is gone And mama says there is no life without him. She has no one to stop her tears. A man who heals and comes down her fears. She needs to wake up in her man's arms. And to be loved just like a child Ooh. Ooh. The man is gone And mama says She can't live without him the man is gone and mama says there is no life without him how can i tell her the way i feel i'm afraid if she be hurt and sink. It pisses me off. It drives me mad that she lets herself feel so bad. Ooh. Ooh.
The man is gone And mama says She can't live without him The man is gone And mama says There is no life without him Isis. Thank you so much for sharing that. And thank you to the crowd. That was awesome. Wow. That was so great. So can you tell us again how we connect with you and how people can find out more information about you? So I'm on YouTube at weirdhippie. Well, weird.hippie. And then my other... Oh, shoot. I said YouTube. It's okay. <laughs> Instagram, sorry. And then my other account is icy.singer. That's awesome. Well, Isis, we hope that you have an amazing summer. Thank you. And that you come again. We are, like, so, like, inspired by you. So thank you, Queen. Fahrenheit TV. Fahrenheit TV.